hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my channel I um, today was just playing around and trying to figure out a cover for the um, mysteries of the ink and pen and um, this is kind of the format I've come up with I probably need to take a picture of it because uh, I do want to go in here and sew and you know around here little this little um, piece I've already glued this down partially this little piece here is from a kit and um, it's called vibe vintage yeah vibe uh, vintage but I'll, I'll list her below and she had she has like pre-made collages that you can uh, print um, I think it was like a dollar and I got um, three different collages that I could print but what I thought was kind of cool is you can just use this to give you something a guide to go by because um, when I collage sometimes I just don't see it and this will get you used to collaging things together um, yeah I think I only have I think I have in the other room uh, so you know, it's worth it uh, to spend a dollar and be able to uh, do a collage, have a sample there, and you can reconstruct it any way you want. This didn't even come out the way that she had designed it because I followed, you know, what it looked like. And I still couldn't get it right because this was too close to that or whatever. So, but anyway, I just wanted to let you know about that um i thought it was a great way to go when i saw it and i'm like you know it's showing me exactly where to put these items and um i i just would like to do a little bit more intricate more thing collage so okay um so anyway that's kind of what i'm thinking on this and this is a dry flower that i um dried last year and I just found them in a dictionary and I thought I would put a um, wax seal on this actually we could do that right now and then I'll, I'll stop and do uh, the sewing and then come back okay so I'm gonna move this to the side and um, I'm gonna do a wax Okay, I need a little parchment here. There we go. Now, I've had this for a while. Um, I broke down and bought, I wanted black, um, black wax. And so this was on Amazon and it come with the uh, glue gun uh, or the or it came with the wax. I don't know what I was paying for, but it was not expensive at all. So I'm going to, this seemed to work pretty good. I have enough room for my cord. I don't really know how much wax to put on though. I'm trying to get it to go. All right, um, one I'm going to do, I feel like I don't have enough. I need another wax. I'm going to have to make this enough. Ah, that hurt. <laughs> oh, what a ding bad I am. Okay, I need another piece of wax. And this is the wax that came with it and actually I had another box open already, but I didn't pick up that right box. I love the boxes, the way they look. Kind of cool. And what is it? Um, ceiling gun wax. I don't know, but it's pretty fast. And you don't have to have that lit up. So it works just like a regular glue gun. You have to have another stick right behind it. Let me 
one's probably too big. And I just put this in my in a glass jar so that it doesn't drip everywhere. There's drips on my hand, it's still there. Oh, that hurt. Okay, I'll wait and see what happens. Because I thought I could try um, a number in the center and put that, or the other one is a flower, and that because I just don't have um, really any of these. Okay, so that is a plain one. I like this number eight. I thought this was um, an inch. It is an inch. Oh, maybe these weren't. Darn it. Um, Everything always is like, you know, didn't work. I looked for another cloth base that I thought I would like in there, but I didn't find one. Not an inch. Hmm. Well, I still kind of like that number. I may, I don't know, I know I had a bunch of these when I did, um, one of um, collage types kits and I can't no, I don't know where I put them all right let's see what this looks like I'm just wasting time here okay there's our flower but I really put too much you know the first one I made it came out perfect that's too much Hmm. That's not too bad. I could do one more try. I wish I knew how, like, how many seconds to hold it down. If you don't have it thick enough, I think you need to just stay in the middle. That's what I'm thinking. And let it spread out on its own. It just doesn't look thick enough. spread out pretty good okay well I think these are so much fun to make though but again and I have this wax seal that I I did when I was trying to do a with a stamp like a rubber stamp and it worked okay it's when I was using the gas bar um, and those colors they that they came, that I got from them were so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. wait long enough or something. Well, that's a mess. You know, I probably could I bet I could smooth this 
that job. She uses her good scissors. Yeah, that doesn't look so bad. It's kind of like just fixing it up. Okay. I think that one is going to be better than this one. Maybe not. Um, I was just looking to see if I could punch something. I don't think. Yeah, stay right there. I think it looks better once you when you fill the hole. I don't know. Either one of them look fine. But I don't like that white clock. I want to find another number because I have a thing kind of there's four and two and I hit eight nine so okay well that's it for um, making these things and this one I may just cut around that and uh, remelt the edge okay so I'm going to stop here I'm going to sew whatever I can onto here. And then I'll come back. I think I'm just going to glue this on the key. Um, I think it'll stay. I hope. And these may kind of fall apart eventually. But... I don't want to, I can't cover it in plastic. I don't, I don't think that would look good. I think I'll put some glue inside of that. And that would help it. From falling, oh, it's going to fall apart anyway. Oh, darn. I really wanted this. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to put this in a, like a specimen card. Oh. I hope you guys don't mind just crafting with me. And of course this glue is not dry. I never know what's going to happen. I don't remember this being so stiff. I just close the wrong way. I don't know. I just want to see how it would look. I could cut the stem off. stem to have the wax seal on it unless I just put the wax seal somewhere else I 
Okay, well that's something I can glue on last anyway because I can't sew through it. So I will, let's see, I can't sew through that or that. Or that. And this, I'm trying to decide if I want that in there. I think I do. Make a little, a little dab of glue on it so it holds it while I'm gluing it down. Or I, what am I doing? Sewing. My iron quit on me. So now I'm using my little baby one and it's doesn't get very hot but I don't really need one hot hot anymore because I don't make quilts and that was why you used to be so particular about your iron okay guys hold on and I'll be back okay I'm back so I've sewed around here and there uh, to keep the pieces down and then um, around the perimeter I guess I didn't sew this, but I did sew that. Okay, so this flower, I want, I wanted to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this netting. You get it on a big roll um, tool is what they call it. Um, and I know that my blue glue stick, the G-L-O-O, holds this will hold this on so I'm hoping I can just because it dries totally clear <laughs> and if it's not right it's not right all right so I'm gonna set this on here To set it over here a little more so I don't know if this is enough glue yeah, it's kind of hard to get the glue to go on to this but I'm thinking that that will hold that in so that it doesn't uh, fall. You know what I should have done is glued the fabric. And I thought I could sew around it to enclose it, but I don't know. I didn't want it to stick out so much like that. I'm looking for my wipes. I thought, well, I won't need these. I just want to take it off of this fabric a little bit. It dries clear, but sometimes on dark fabric like that, it might not. Okay. So, for this, I've decided, now that's a little big, but I'm okay with it. I think I like that. So, because it was too big, I just, um, oh, I just, um, use some background paper to put in here. This will go, I need to ink it a little, it's the only, only number I had in black. Okay, use these, it's kind of hard, to, I guess that eight is, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. So that's glued. 
Now I'm going to use fabric tack. Oh, I can get it to come out properly, that is. I see people use this for every, all their, you know, journal making. I'm like, how do you do that? Because I, it's a nightmare. This was one of those um, um, number thing you get, like, I don't know, all the numbers in different sizes in, in the scrapbooking area. But uh, come on out. And I put, they were gold. Deal with this. I cannot deal with that. I wonder if this tacky glue works. I'm so afraid it's going to smear onto the and leave it shiny. Now, see that's all glued on and it's all dried and it, you can't see it, but you can a little bit right there. Um, and that's because I got some on that fabric. Something else I could stick in there. Yeah. I, I don't think, maybe it's just not quite dry yet because it is on fabric. Okay. could kind of just sew around this just to make sure that it's not going to fall off. All right, so then I've got my key here. Oh, I've got this that goes down here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that covers it up. I don't know, does this, I guess it says it dries clear and strong. It was coming out before. There, that covers that little bit of. Now this, I have a feeling this is not going to hold, but I will know. I don't think that even touches. It's just going to be this part that touches the book it's 
so that's the front cover I just kind of I think I like the vintageness of it a little bit of ink on that darken it up a little it's a little white this one's a little white too Okay, so now I'm just going to lay a book on top of this and let it dry. So I hope you guys um, like the way this looks. Put it back on here for a second. I think it's going to look pretty cool. I hope it all stays on there. That's the problem. They usually do. I mean, usually my covers, you know, once it's all dry and I'll, I will glue all this to the back of the book, but I'm going to let this dry a little bit in case I want to sew a little bit more to get that, um, to glue on. Okay. So what time do we have? 26 minutes and I've got to take my mom home. So I might come back and do a second video, a continuation, because I would like to get my, I've been working on this, um, I'd like to get this section done so we can just be done and start decorating. Alrighty, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys, I think, in another video today, the same day. Alright, bye!